see uh, why this uh, change is coming about and you see the earlier companies which have been there, some of them haven't survived this change. You know, there's been a lot of examples, you can see the companies which were existing, let's take in the 1970s and about 50% of them have vanished. And one of the reasons has been they have not been able to cope with the changing world and this change in technology. They couldn't realize that the business, the way it has been conducting is changing at such a fast pace. While the newer age industries or the companies came up, who knew how to use technology and put it into a use of solving the problems? So technology per se is useless. Unless and until you see how you can put it to a use which helps you solve your problems and give a good solution at a very optimum price or convenience or whatever it is, it will not help you. So today, let's take a few examples. Uh, there is a company like we all know, Ola Cabs and Uber. They don't own any car fleet. Their investment in these uh, assets is hardly there. Earlier, most of the companies, they were powerful because they had assets, right? And that's what was the trend uh, during the last so many years, who had maximum assets, whether in form of the plant or factories or finance or land bank, they were supposed to be the kings. But no more today. Those things are not valid anymore. Those concepts are changing very fast. Because Alibaba doesn't own any product. Snapdeal and uh, your uh, Flipkarts, Amazon, they don't own, manufacture these products, they don't own these products. Right? This is the e-commerce world and uh, companies who are manufacturing are not making money but these guys are making money even though supposed to be called the money which is yet to be seen but their valuations are mind boggling and I am not sure whether they will survive or not but people are pumping in money that's what is more important they are getting funding from so many investors who have faith in them so I might doubt it whether it will survive or not in future but today it looks like to be the business to be in particularly the again the technology is uh, the enabler there Ola cabs at Uber they don't own any fleet you take any examples in the e-commerce world Airbnb they are providing services for hotel rooms or even your own guest houses which you want to put it on rent if you're going out they don't, don't own any of this. They are simply aggregators. All of these companies are using a model to give you a solution, right? Without having a real ownership. So, which should give you an idea that uh, the traditional ways of doing business actually are not going to give you fantastic returns going forward. There has to be a totally different way of thinking. And uh, that's where the everybody talked about the creativity and innovation, which is going to help you know come up with a solution to the everyday problems which we face. Every case there is a problem, uh, there is a solution. You take Uber cabs, it gives you a solution. Today you are stuck, you want to go, you just use Ola Cabs app on your mobile, and it gives you a solution, right? It gives you, it uses the maps technology in a very innovative way. Same goes true for your Flipkarts, Amazon, right? So, so each of these are trying to give an innovative solution to a problem. I can shop around the world sitting at the convenience of my home. What is social networking sites are doing? Again, they are giving you that solution of connectivity and building your own network for your business as for your personal advantage, right? So you stay connected with it. So, <clears throat> what is important going forward is uh, that your uh, thinking has to be totally different. So if any problem, let's say, has n solutions, actually you should be looking for that n plus one because you only know n, right? Or x number of solutions. But there must be existing a plus one or a plus two solution which you are not aware. And that is what you have to research. And that is what will give you that competitive edge. So today, for companies, their assets, their finances, their land banks are not really that important. 
it, on balance sheet it might look, but otherwise not. So what is becoming important today is the people and the facilitator is the technology. So people and technology, where technology is the enabler and how you use that technology, which is people, is what is the real asset for any company today. And that is the only differentiation which is going to stand out. So if today Google talks about that they being the employer of choice, if you look at it, their only advantage which I can see is their culture which is basically all about people. So there is a Google culture there. That's why people want to work there. And that culture is nothing but people. Right? So their talent is their USP. Same goes true for Apple. If you ask Apple, oh, what is that which gives them the competitive edge in the market? Then only talk about their 